Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech A11Y Usha and myself Usha. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech A11Y Usha and myself Usha. In this podcast, let's learn how to create ringtone in iPhone. In order to create ringtone in iPhone, make sure to keep these three things ready. Number one, thirty seconds audio or music which you want to set it as ringtone, and make sure to save this file in Files app. Number two, GarageBand app which is inbuilt in your iPhone. If it's not available, just download it from App Store. And number three, music to ringtone app downloaded from App Store. Once these three things are ready, you can start ringtone creation process. Before I start the process, let me make you listen to the audio which I am going to set as ringtone. I am not using any music here. I have created my own audio in order to avoid any kind of copyright. Okay, so I am just playing the audio which I have saved in Files app. Pusha, your phone is ringing. Please pick up the call. Pusha, your phone is ringing. Please pick up the call. Pusha, your phone is ringing. Please pick up the call. Pusha, your phone is ringing. Please pick up the call. Pusha, your phone is ringing. Please pick up the call. So this audio I'm going to set as ringtone. Okay? So let's start the process. First what you need to do is just open music to ringtone app which you have downloaded from App Store. Okay, I'm just opening that. Music to ringtone. Once you open the app, tap on this continue. You continue to app. Continue to app option. Settings button. Button. So here in the screen, just swipe to click on the load button to pick a change start position. Click on the load button to pick a song or a video. Okay, click on the load button. So let me focus to load. Change start change duration. Play button. Load button. Okay, double tap on load. Alert. Notice. So there's a notice here. Notice. DRM protected songs from Apple Music streaming will not show in the list. Oh, okay. Button. Just tap on okay. iTunes all songs. So here since I have saved my uh, audio in files app, just navigate to files. iTunes playlists. Files. I'll double tap on files. Recent heading. Recent icons. But cancel search. Subtick. Phone is ringing. Audio. One twelve p.m. Two. Okay, so I'll select this audio. Settings button. Button. So once you select the audio, let me swipe. Phone is ringing. Change name button. Button zero. Change start position. Change duration. Play button. So. The file save got button. Button. imported. Now what you need to do is just tap on save button. Just swipe to Phone save. Change name zero. Change the change duration. Play button. Load. Save button. Okay, just beside load there is save option. Just tap on save. Save. Alert. Share as. Once you tap on save button, share as screen will get displayed. Okay, let me swipe in the screen. Ch share as. Choose GarageBand file and share to GarageBand app to set it as a ringtone on your phone. Okay, so here it is asking to choose GarageBand. Share as. Choose GarageBand file and share to GarageBand app to set it as a ringtone on your phone. Now here I'll swipe. GarageBand file button. So GarageBand file. I'm tapping on this. Once you tap on GarageBand file, one ad will be playing. So just listen to that ad or just swipe to close button and close that ad. Okay, I have already closed that ad. I have skipped that part. Now once you close that ad, you will be taken to a share sheet screen. Let me swipe. Close button. AirDrop. WhatsApp messages. Dropbox. GarageBand. So GarageBand is listed here. I'll tap on GarageBand. GarageBand. Landscape. GarageBand. Phone is ringing. File. Today. One forty. Okay. So as soon as you select GarageBand, uh, your your phone will be switched to landscape mode, and we are in GarageBand now. Once GarageBand gets opened in landscape mode, just focus to the file which we have imported to GarageBand, and the file which we are going to set it as ringtone. Okay. I'm just focusing to the file. Phone is ringing. File today, one forty six p.m. Fi so once you focus to the file, double tap and hold with single finger. Okay, I'm repeating. Double tap and hold with single finger. Double tap. Once I double tap and hold with single finger, nothing is notified. Let me cross check if anything is opened or not. Copy. Move. Shift. 
Shop, delete, dismiss context menu, button. Yes, context menu is open. In this context menu, just focus to share option and double tap. Delete, shop, share, button. Share, I'm double tapping. Cancel, button. So let me swipe and check. Share song, heading. Share song. Choose a format for phone is ringing. Song, button, ringtone, but project. But tap to send your song as a stereo audio. Tap to create a custom ringtone for your iPhone. Tap to send the tap to, tap to send project. But ringtone button. R. So Beanie. here ringtone. Once you tap on that share, few more options will be displayed. So here you need to tap on ringtone option. Project ringtone button. Okay, I'm R. double tapping Beanie. on ringtone. ringtone. Alert! Your ringtone length needs to be adjusted. Once I double tapped on ringtone, I got a prompt like you know. Your ringtone length needs to be adjusted. Your ringtone length needs to be adjusted. Maybe my audio is more than 30 seconds. So I'm getting a prompt here. There's one more message. Your ringtone needs to be 30 seconds or less and will be automatically shortened to the appropriate length. Your ringtone needs to be 30 seconds or less. Otherwise, it will be shortened to the appropriate length. This is the reason why I asked you to keep exactly 30 seconds audio or music ready in the beginning. Because you know, if it is more than 30 seconds here, once you reach this step, GarageBand will automatically shorten it to 30 seconds. So there is a chance like the music which you want to uh, set it as ringtone might, uh, you know, get cut. So just keep it ready exactly 30 seconds audio which you want to set as ringtone. Okay, so here maybe my audio is more than 30 seconds. So here I'm getting a prompt. Let me swipe to cancel, but continue, button, continue. Export ringtone, heading, cancel, button. Once you tap on continue, you will be taken to this screen that is export ringtone. Export, button. Export ringtone. Heading. Now here, let me swipe. Export. Name of the ringtone. Heading. Phone is ringing. Text field. So if you want, you can change the name. I'm not going to change. No exported ringtones. Phone is... Name of the ringtone. Export. Button. I'm double tapping on this export. Alert. One or more audio files of this song have changed in length. So the length got changed. Now let me swipe. Okay. Button. Okay. Okay. Button. Just tap on okay. Exporting as ringtone. Exporting as ringtone. Alert. Ringtone export successful. Let me swipe. Use sound as button. Use sound as. Okay. Button. Use sound as button. So once the export is successful, just swipe to. Ring. Use sound as button. Use sound as. Double tap on this. New ringtone. Alert. New ringtone. Let me swipe. Phone is ringing. This is my ringtone name. Standard ringtone. Button. Standard ringtone. So if you select this option, now this ringtone will be set to all the contacts. Okay. Let me swipe. Standard text tone. Button. Standard text tone. If you want to set it to a text message, you can set it. And let me swipe again. Assign to contact. Button. Assign to contact. If you want to assign to any particular contact, you can select this option. Now I want to set it to all contacts. So I'll select. Standard, standard ringtone. Button. Step standard ringtone button. I'll double tap on standard ringtone. Okay. Garage band recents heading. Add button icons. New audio recording. But That's it. Ringtone got created and got exported to iPhone ringtones list. And also it got set as ringtone for all contacts as we selected standard ringtone. Let's go to iPhone settings and check if this created ringtone is listed in iPhone ringtones list or not. So let's go to settings. App switcher. Settings. Settings. Active. I'll double tap on settings. Settings. Act. Notifications. Focus. Button. Sounds haptics. Button. I'll double tap on sounds haptics. S headphone audio. Heading. Settings. Back button. I'll swipe. Sounds haptics. Headphone. Headphone. Ringtone and alert. Sound volume. Change with button. The volume of the ring. Sounds and haptic pattern. Ringtone. Phone is ringing. Button. Ringtone phone is ringing. So it is set. Let me open and check the list. Sounds haptics. Back button. I'll swipe. Ring. Down. This ring. Selected. Phone is ringing. Selected phone is ringing. This is the ringtone which I created just now. And it's listed in iPhone ringtones list. Let me swipe and show you. Opening. Default. Opening default. Apex. Opening. Selected. Phone is ringing. Okay, as you can notice, it is listed uh, along with other ringtones in iPhone. 
let me call from another phone to my iphone and check if desired audio got set as ringtone or not i'm calling from another phone phone call usha to usha your phone is ringing please pick up the call usha your phone is ringing please pick up the call usha your phone is ringing please pick up the call usha your phone is ringing please pick up the call usha your phone is ringing please pick up the call as you heard friends the audio which i wanted to set as ringtone on my iphone got set this is how you can create ringtone on iphone that's all in this podcast thank you